What is up guys? Dwayne here back and again representing WGD will go damn. Right, today we are going to be reviewing the Paranormal by Lost Vapes 250 watt DNA 250. I don't know if it's, you can see it, but there you go. And I've actually been wanting this for a long while now. Again, I've just come back from the expo and I finally have it. That that is my own, and I'm very, I'm just, I'm just very happy. Soon we're gonna have a dive down to a close up and have a look at all the details on the outside and all the specs on the inside. And definitely the replay mode as well. Uh, the replay mode is really, really good. That's the main key. I think of this whole device itself but yeah I just thought how oh, are you all doing you know what I mean from the expo and everything because I've had a good time uh, finally again I've said it on the Instagram I've, I've just finally got to see who I watch uh, reviewers and I'm pretty happy and it's pushed me more to get these videos out there a lot more for you guys do you know what I mean on our channel but nevertheless let's dive up close and let's check out 250C Paranormal Mod. Right, okay, goddamn. We have the mod, the box, the mod, what the hell? The box itself, Paranormal, with the nice logo. This is a really nice box, you know. I like this box. Probably the best box I've ever come across. But anyway, you've got the code here uh, and the color of the mod itself. So, good metal, pearl finish. Okay and nothing on the sides except for the back which is a lost bit so let's open this and you do have the guide now the guide is basically showing you the replay mode okay and these are all you can use these materials separate there's combinations as well as well as down here you can't actually use um camphor there you go only only these here and then on the other side we do have the boost all the information is here and then your USB to be honest I don't I don't really charge my phone you can charge your phone with your mod but I, I don't see the point to be honest but anyway that to the side and then you do have the user manual which is in good tact and I think all this is actually in full English so and then you do have the warranty registration card let's skip the mod for now and let's get to this let's see what's in here okay so nice packaging do you know what I mean for your accessories and then let's open this you do have this this here this is actually for your plates to take your plates off and you got panels wood panels I, I've actually put my I put the carbon fiber so you get the carbon fiber in here and this panel will be already on the uh, device so you get two of them which are pretty nice actually I do like these wood panels but I think at first I didn't like the full finish on the mod so I just changed it for straight carbon fiber but I do like wood though um, what else do you have you do have your USB for updates and using the um, any of softwares because you can change your theme I think on there I like to keep mine simple and then here's the adapter for you can charge your phone and that is pretty much it in the box so I'll show you the wood panels actually first actually no no we'll get to the mod right this is really really nice I think my voice is going a nice pearl finish really bubbly it's actually quite soft as well on here really really good finish so let's start from here you get the 510 pin here and then you've got power normal there their logo and the name it is uh, spring loaded as well and then let's get to the front so you get your power button your screen and your function buttons here and your usb charge and on the sides you got your panel for both sides and then this weird like this like wood 
finish i don't know what specific material it is but this looks nice in my personal opinion and then you've got your bottom which looks cool i've not had any therions or anything um because this looks like the therions is pretty similar but like different sort of body like style to it do you know what i mean but um supposedly there's actually a few a couple of uh, differences between itself but, but anyway so you can see the door here pull so let's put this back again so you pull this way and it's got a lever which is pretty nice you've got your indication here and at the bottom i don't know if you can see the bottom but just down there so really easy to use it's a bit wiggly but i think some are like that but when it's even without the batteries if i put it in now it's there's no rattle either there's no shake if i just did that it's not coming off either so that is really good so let's get some batteries let's get some batteries in here so you have your plus and minus plus here and your minus here oh get out get the fuck out okay and push down slide in and it should come on there you go so let's go a bit closer so let's get something out it's a bit bright so you have your ohms your battery percentage on this side and then and then another battery sign so that's actually quite cool then you got your time here and your date you know month of the year and all that sort of stuff i don't know why mine's gone back to normal but anyway you have a passcode so one two three four five five clicks turn on but yeah, same again, all here. So I don't replay mode. So use your function keys just around here. So you can see it's going through them all. If you click the middle function key, then you can go through stainless steel. And you got stainless steel 316, a titanium. Oh, it's hard to see, I'm sorry. Nickel. Uh, uh, nickel, can you see it? No. Can you see it? Ah, it's better. Nickel wattage boost and then your normal watts itself just the end and your wattage and your settings and you got your camp fill and then back to replay and you click the middle function button and you can scroll down and then you click the middle button again and you can go through your wattages here let's go down to settings oh settings you go to atomizer so you click on there it shows all your details you know your power temperature boost on and off you get your punch as well let's scroll down so you can go through them so when you're putting a new rda on you can remeasure them you remeasure it the ohms so you can come out right let's go down back puff info you get your puff i'm not really too fussed about puffs uh, diagnostics then you've got all the information here your power temp ohms volts amps battery the board itself the usb as in voltage I press back again you get your system so you can actually change your brightness on here do you know what i mean which is pretty pretty good actually i do like that little uh, feature and obviously then you can go through your time date on there you can adjust them and then if you're going about that's how many i've done for some i've done quite a bit but again i'm not fussed revision all serial number and what not and then you go back and then go back so you're here so okay i don't have an rda that has i've um i don't have an rda that will read the replay because majority of them are mainly um cancel for some weird reason but i have actually used it on one of someone else's rda and it does work it's really good so basically you screw your rda on you screw your rda on and then you find the right wattages you find the right um power that's suitable for you when you're vaping when you find the right one right vape it it'll come up with save you save that there and then there you go you're consistent lot consistently on that wattage so even on when like your juice that's on the coils on on the cotton no matter how long you um vape on it the per the production 
the vape production when it's going down uh, this, this is hard for me to explain so basically you're not going to get any dry hits on replay mode as well it's 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 really good in hand um it's just listen it's my first time leave me alone okay it's my first time <laughs> but anyway yeah you've got the replay mode so at the moment i can't use it because i don't have any wire that will uh, that's not comfortable or anything for some weird reason and i, I do have actually nickel and i ate his but it's not re uh, reading it enough but anywho let's go to go on here let's go to wattage mode remember you can use up and down as well to go through the whole system it's gonna come there let's put an rda on here and i've got the 502 on here now you can see even on this area it's quite flush it's not so bad you've got the and it's hard to see but you've got the tiniest tiniest little overhang it's just it's just because only the way the mod's designed how it's just it's sort of leaning down leaning down a bit from there do you know what i mean but i think that's fine anyway on here you can definitely fit this is uh let's let's put something on okay let's get another analyzer this is the triple 28 and as you can see you will gonna have overhang i like this out here but anyway you're gonna have a lot of overhang so definitely a 24 mil uh scraping a 25 on there but and yeah as far as i know this is pretty much all i can say about this device but i do like the device i do like the design as well it's really really sleek it's like it's like a classy classy finish do you know what i mean there are other colors you can get um with the panels as well as the this back bit here oh i'll show you the uh i'll show you this so you push this on there's your panel will come off and the thing is you've got to find the right door for it i think that's that one is that one yeah there you go so now you know it's like with the wood actually the wood's not so bad actually the black does look better but i like the wood as well at the same time the black and the wood the black and the wood anyway do you know what i think that's as much as i can say for now um so let's get back up top i'm going to use this device and i will tell you what i fully think yes oh god damn okay pros and cons for me let's go with cons the cons on this i do not have much cons at all the only subjective slight con is on one of the panels on the door it's, sat, it's kind of lifted up a bit and it's, it's irritating i want it to be nice and flush one side is flush this side is not and i've made sure i put it the right way and it's still got that little lip um anything else not really as far as i'm aware from my perspective i don't have any much cons about it um the pros, the pros, the finish is really sleek and classy. Uh, the doors has no, the doors has no rattling. Do you know what I mean? No battle rattling. And the buttons, nothing. I'm not getting anything at all. Um, what else to say? Just the whole design is really good. The replay, definitely the replay from. I I have did I did use it on someone else's idea. I just needed to get some bloody flipping wire that will work. Do you know what I mean? Um, but for some reason I've got some NIAs but I had assumed that they'd work in there but they don't but I've got a normal wattage either way it's the fine it's easy to function on the uh, screen it's really easy you hit three buttons five clicks to turn on and off and that is pretty much it I, like mainly I think a lot of people did get it for the replay I do like the design as well but the replay is good you can't go any, you can't go any wrong with that. Do you know what I mean? Because on the vape production, when your um, juice on the cotton that's saturated, what the... 
Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Um, yeah, on the, uh, the the liquid that's on the cotton on replay mode that's set for your um, vaping. Set, yeah, is, that, is that right? Set for your suitable needs of vaping, okay? When it's almost drying out, it will the vapor production will slowly decrease, do you know what I mean? So you're not gonna get any dry hits at all, which is really good. Temperature control, just in an easier, easier mode. So, yeah, I think that's it. I'll tell you what, you can pick these up. Vaping 101, um, £124. Same with, uh, on Evolution Vaping, it's the same price for the 250C. Now there's also, there is also 166 and I can't see the 75 one, but it's only 166. You can get the 166, the resin edition or the normal edition for £120. So you can't go wrong, I think that's a reasonable price. You may not want 250 There's 166 for a bit cheaper, do you know what I mean? But I, all in all, again, I think that's a decent price for something like this, especially by Lost Vapes. Lost Vapes, from what I've heard, uh, they do look after you. If anything goes wrong with this, do you know what I mean, for some weird reason, they'll sort you out, do you know what I mean? And I think you are paying for the design, the chip mainly by DNA, you can't go wrong with DNA chips. And I think the package is really good as well. It's a really, really good packaging. Um, but other than that, I will put links in the description for the website. I'll probably put one up, or I'll just put them both up just in case there's a price difference, but they're really good price. And yeah, just make sure you subscribe to our channel, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like, let me know in the comments so I can improve, and I will see you guys in the next one. Well, God!